Greetings fellow adventurers, my name is Fizz Lehain and welcome to Ruby Volume 5 Episode 2 Dread in the Air Um, well, I cannot wait to see what a dread is and actually after what happened in the last episode I was really excited to come back and see where things are going so here we are I'm excited, especially after what happened, okay, like, yeah, seeing that, that this guy is somehow involved with bad stuff seeing the kid finally arrive with you know the main cast and stuff like that exciting stuff and you know um yang finally going after her mother or something whatever whatever's happening i hate this guy this guy is the worst so far even the somehow even the scorpion guy did not feel as annoying as this guy because that guy at least felt crazy this guy feels like a schemer like one of those annoying smart schemers and he has a stupid looking mustache Everything about him sucks. Huh? What the? After you. Is he holding Your the professor? Grace. Oh. Oh, you there? Huh? I meant to say, is he actually like swayed by fear, or does he actually believe in their cause? I wonder. Oh, Leonardo, do you have something to report? Of course, ma'am. I will not waste your time if not. I'm still just so fascinated by this creature. Uh, Are you dear, are, are we coming through? Can you see us clearly? Well, as clearly as you can. Shut up. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, I did not even realize what he meant for a second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, the eye, the eye. <laughs> recovered. Your report. What is it? I've... I found the Spring Maiden. Is that so? Well done. But Arthur. Had I known how useful you'd be in expediting this process, I would have sent you long, long ago. As much it's as not I even do anything. Take credit, ma'am. I can't say that either of us have to thank for this development. I guess you could oh. say a little birdie told us. Expl oh, he actually He's not gonna take all the credit for himself somehow. You see, ma'am, Crow Bronwyn arrived at Haven Academy earlier today. He believes Spring has taken residence with his sister's tribe. Is the girl with him? Yes. Yes, Miss Rose was in attendance. And you know of the tribe's location? Yes, ma'am, but you have to hurry. Crow is already at odds with my... What the heck? Leonardo, do you remember the first time we met? What the heck is even that creature? I remember your fear. He can actually attack on top of just work as a communicator. But since that day, you've been extraordinarily brave. He doesn't act very brave in my opinion. I won't forget all that you've done for me. Do not forget everything I can do to you. He's not just gonna kill him. Yeah, just intimidate him, huh? Cinder, you and your team will meet with Dr. Watts and together convince Raven Bronwyn that the survival of her people depends on her cooperation. That's not Once gonna work, probably, right? Under control, escort her to the relic and contact Hazel. I genuinely do not believe that Raven would fall for something like that. She seems... I feel like she's way too independent in, uh, with her own tribe, I mean. To actually fall for anything. She seems like... I don't know, she feels like a brute in a way. Like an Uga Booga lady that's like... That doesn't believe in anything outside of her tribe. I don't know, that, that's just the impression I got so far. The White Fang was promised the destruction of Haven. And they'll have it once we have what we need. Understood. Not you, Arthur. Tyrion's in need of a new tale. What happened to his old one? Guess. I want to know exactly. The silver-eyed girl. Oh yeah, that. I forgot. <laughs> it will be done. Good. Seems Crow was right, Lionheart. You know what the weird thing is? I'm not, I feel like I talked about this before, but I feel like in this art style and the new outfit and without the eye, 
I feel like Cinder looks a lot better than she used to look in the past. Like in, in the earlier volumes, I did not even find her like pretty at all, to be honest, compared to more like many of the others. I think I called her pretty just because of like what, you know, generally as, I mean, she does look pretty, but not, I personally did not find her pretty. I just thought she was generally like, I don't know, by societal norms, pretty. Like, yeah, they just say that. But now I think she does look great, even though I cannot wait to see what's going to happen when she meets Ruby again. Pushovers. You are free to speak your mind. She wants to go after Ruby. Yep, that's I obvious. I don't understand. That's obvious. Working with bandits? Keeping Ruby alive? What's the point? We're strong enough to take what we want by force. Hmm. Never underestimate the usefulness of others. I mean, th yeah, that's actually a good point. All she does is rely on others to do her bidding so far. She doesn't do anything. She just stands here. We have not seen her interact with, like, any of the problems that happened so far directly at all. So, yeah, that's a good point. Take Why do things yourself when you can have other people do things for you? He most trusted. And yet now... Hmm. You will have the power I promised you when the time is right. But remember that it comes with a cost. If Ruby Rose has learned to harness her gift, then you must take care to protect yours. There's only so much I can do to aid you. Uh, all right. Well, she's not very happy with that, I guess. And but Cinder, maybe she's gonna you listen. Go, inform Tyrion that I wish to have a word with him. Oh? What's that gonna be about? I thought you already had a word when he came back. You said you were disappointed. What more can you say to him? Give him a quest, finally, or something? Again? Even though he disappointed you, or what? Blake... Up... Yang... <laughs> Why? Is, what, am I, what am I doing? What am I... Somehow I went through all the wrong names for a second. I don't know why. I do not, I do not know why. Whoa. Yeah, what's... What are those? Floating rocks? Where are we? Nowhere good. Passing by some of Lake Matsu's floating islands. Islands? The oh, they are islands. Given us a little turbulence. Nothing I can't handle, but the islands sometimes hide some nasty grim. I'm just betting on oh, what is that? Stress, keeping them preoccupied. What is that? Something's coming for Look us. Huh? That thing almost. Oh wait, what? I thought it was coming to kill them. Me. But it somehow oh God, just crashed itself. Oh, it's bugs. Bug cream. Oh. It's like they are naturally evolved to destroy ships. Look at that. We are hooked and you're cooked. Both of those things. Okay. Oh, are they coming after us now? Oh, they are. Okay, well, um. Remember Lancers. the thing about. Freaking Lancers. Not getting involved right, before. What? What we should have done in the first place. Five? You're carrying dust, right? Officially, no. Actually, yes. Then when I tell you, open the rear door. Oh, there we go. Some ammunition. That's probably expensive, though. Better make it quick. Oh, so he's okay with it. Good. Survival over money. Here we go! What is she gonna do? Yeah. Oh! Fire? Not really hitting a lot. <laughs> Hold on! She's getting excited! She's getting crazy with it! 
that guy's getting a bit too excited now. <laughs> oh, here we go. Big one. You know what? This is working, actually. It's working. Oh, never mind. Balance. Oh, no. Oh, that we saw how that's a problem before. I feel like these creatures are not that tough on Why? the ground. But on, when, you're, when you're in a ship, this is a problem. We're gonna smack them in the rock. Oh, yes, you are. Awesome. Can you find a pair of islands we can fit between? Kid, you are reading my mind. There we go. Also, why do they keep calling her a kid? How old are you at this point? I know you're not a kid because you're a pilot, but still. You don't look that old to call other people a kid. I guess there's a victory yeah, for us. Great going, kid. We are in the clear. <laughs> are we? Are we though? I hear something. One. It's a queen lancer. What? Does that make more? Does that give birth on the spot or something? Oh, that's not doing much. Whoa! Oh, yeah, big problem, big problem. Do something. What can she do? That's a lot of cargo. If that doesn't work, that's crazy. How... How tough is this thing? That's like a, so much dust just exploding right into it with so many weird like different elements and nonsense and that still did not do anything? I can see yeah, that, the shoreline. That's freakish. We're not gonna make it! Oh. Is she gonna summon or so what's what she doing? She's gonna summon. There we go, the knight. Look at that. Oh, that looks the, the knight looks awesome. The armor and stuff, awesome. Whoa, and it's so athletic. So much agility. Look at it go. Then the sword! Of course, you can have a knight without his sword! Come on! Oh no! Oh yes! Oh, never mind! Oh, there we go! Oh! Oh, okay, okay that was some bad, very horrible deflecting! Ah, oh, both disappearing at the same time! Oh, that was awesome! I mean, the ship is in shambles, but at least everything was cool, right? <laughs> oh, don't tell me that's the end. Okay, good. I thought that it was just gonna Adam. end like that. Adam? I'm not going to repeat myself. So I want you to listen when I tell you that the White Fang will not attack Haven Academy. Who is that? My leader Khan, I am begging you. You should beg for forgiveness and nothing else. That's the leader? I don't know why I expected somebody the like that looked old. The assault you led on Beacon was not the great victory you clearly think it was. And you should be grateful your punishment wasn't more severe. You are a symbol for many in our organization. That doesn't make you infallible. 
I was merely trying to follow your example, High Leader. And what example might that be? Yeah, actually. Strength. Strength and unwavering conviction. The humans have seen that strength now. I was one of the first to suggest violence where violence was necessary. Peace bred complacency, oh. an acceptance of our place in the world. I will not allow humanity to push us down without pushing them back. But the destruction oh. of the Huntsman Academies crosses a line. The loss of the CCT has brought global communication to a crawl, and the White Fang is more of a target now than ever before. You have justified humanity's campaign against us, and for what? Empty promises from a group of humans? Humans we still know nothing about, and come and go as they please. These are not examples of strength, Adam. They are examples of your talents being diminished by short-sightedness. If you want to know more about the humans, then why not talk to one of them yourself? Hazel! Oh! <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> what is he this? He talks funny. He talks funny. Apologies. I don't aim to cause any trouble. You've brought a human to this location? You should hear what he has to say. This is grounds for execution. Ma'am. Please. Nobody needs to die today. I'm just asking for a moment of your time. Oh, very the respectful. Here, the less of a chance you have of leaving alive. I'll take those chances, if you don't mind. Oh, we're gonna listen. You don't like me. You have no reason to like me. But you don't have to like me to get the results you want. I'm starting to doubt either of you fully comprehend what it is that I want. I want humanity to fear the Faunus. To know that we demand respect. I do not want to start a war with the humans that we cannot win. That's where you're wrong. We can win a war against the humans. Not only because we have the support of Hazel's master, but because the Faunus are the dominant species of this planet. Oh, damn, I was silent for a while at this point. <laughs> like, I really... This whole scene makes me... I don't even know. We're better than humans. We have everything humans have and more. Humans shouldn't just fear the Faunus. They should serve the Faunus. Okay, he's going for a very big dose all of a sudden. I this conversation for tonight. Guards, take them away. Oh? I said Don't. take them away. Oh? What? Is he gonna I use her? Admit, Sienna, you the were throne? right about my popularity. My followers in Vale already see me as the true high leader. And many here in Mistral feel the same. Damn, I did not expect that. What are you doing? What's oh, right wait. for the Faunus? Even he did not expect that? From wait, this what? Day forward, I huh? will be the one to lead the White Fang. Wait, you're telling me even the guy, even like the, the, the human did not expect it? Hazel, even he did not expect this? What? If you think I'll just step aside and follow beneath you, you're wrong. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a second, what? He just stabbed her? Just like that? Thank you, Sienna. You were there when our people needed you. But they need me now. Oh, that's six miles, though. You couldn't see this through to the end. Damn! Okay, that's a crazy way to do this. Just like that. Give our former leader a proper burial. All who were here tonight will claim that Sienna was murdered by a human huntsman. Sienna Khan will become a martyr for our cause. Her final act as high leader. He surely knows how to, like, make the, 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 yeah. 
You know what? I don't know why I would expect anything else from him after everything we've seen so far. When were you planning on telling me about that? But I guess in the end, now we see his actual full true colors. This was my business, not yours. It's our yeah. business now. Yeah, he, he kind of got him pretty involved. I don't appreciate you withholding things like that. Your master was concerned with Sienna's willingness to cooperate. Now she doesn't have to be. No. I mean, but at the same time, can she trust you now after what you've done? That you won't stab her in the back as well? Nobody needed to die today. Wait, does that guy care about life or something? I disagree. Of course you do. Of, of course. Wise. Get up, Wise. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Did she fall exactly where the bandits Please. are or something? Those look like what bandits to me. I think. Oh, damn it, Raven. You just hit the jackpot. Do you know who that is? You know what? Sometimes, from some angles, even Raven looks very young. Oh, okay, that song is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. That's it. That's the end. Damn. Damn. Honestly, them, just just them. The the whole thing with Adam was so cold blooded. Actually, if anything, it was kind of psychotic. Like, he even smiled like a sicko when he killed her. Do you see that? You can really tell. Wait, oh, I like that they call it time skip here. <laughs> but yeah, you can really tell that he's he's sick in the head. If it was not obvious enough already by some other things that happened. And not only that, but now the White Fang has a new high leader. And on top of that, uh, now Wise is where Raven is. Now Yang is going maybe in that direction too. Maybe they're gonna meet. Now we have Aspin in a way back and everything. It, I wanted to see more of that to be honest though. I wanted to see like what happened with that. But everything else was also cool. So that's the end for now. Just thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed watching it, punch the like button with everything you have. And have a great day or night. But for now, farewell and bye bye.